Before we learn about salt, let's have a recap of what is acid. Acid is a substance that's going to be dissociated or ionized in water to produce hydrogen ion. Some of the examples are like hydrochloric acid, nitric acid, sulfuric acid, and carbonic acid. So what is salt? Salt is an ionic compound that is formed when the hydrogen ion in the acid is being replaced by either a metal ion or ammonium ion. Let us break it down. As we know, ionic compound consists of two parts. The first part being the cation, which is eventually the positively charged ion. And the second part, which is our anion, which is the negatively charged ion. As we can see here, all of the hydrogen ion will eventually be the cation of the acid. Meanwhile, for anion, it differs from acid to acid. The most common one that we're going to study in this chapter is going to be our chicken nugget sandwich plus carbonated drink. Or we can say it's a chicken nugget salad plus carbonated drink. C means it's a chloride ion, N stands for the nitrate ion, S stands for the sulfate ion, and of course carbonate is just a carbonate ion. And now they say the hydrogen ion in the acid is going to be replaced by either a metal ion or ammonium ion. It means I'm going to remove the hydrogen ion and replace it with the metal ion like sodium ion or magnesium ion or any of the metal ion like aluminum ion and last which is the ammonium ion so in short all of the hydrogen ion in the acid will be replaced by either one of the metal ion or ammonium ion that is listed down below here so let's begin with hydrochloric acid i'm going to remove the hydrogen ion first and replace it with one of the metal ion so let's say if i choose sodium ion i will now have sodium chloride sodium chloride is eventually our table salt that being used as the flavoring in our food every day but too much of this will eventually cause us to have the high blood pressure or hypertension next we have the nitric acid remove the hydrogen ion and let's say if i choose potassium ion and now i will have my potassium nitrate what if sulfuric acid have more than one hydrogen ion it will be the same i can remove both of them and replace it with maybe since i already tried out with the metal ion why not we try with ammonium ion so now in with the ammonium ion and now we have ammonium sulfate but why two of them because sulfate has a negatively charge and ammonium has only positive one so we need to have two of them to balance off the charges next up carbonic acid remove both of the hydrogen ion and now let's try with copper two plus ion i need to have only one is because copper two plus has positive two charges just nice to balance off the negative two charge of the carbonate ion and the name of this is called copper two carbonate so in these chapters we're going to see a lot of the chloride salt the nitrate salt the sulfate salt as well as carbonate salt this is what we call it as a chicken nugget salad or chicken nugget sandwich plus carbonated drink out of all of these sorts, they are going to categorize in two main categories. The first one being the soluble salt. Soluble salt is just a salt that can dissolve in water at room temperatures. So for example, if you have a conical flux, I fill it up with water and I'm going to add in some of the salts and shake it. It will actually dissolve at room temperatures. So if I don't carry out experiment, how do I know whether the salt is soluble or insoluble? There are some of the rules that we're going to memorize. They tell us that if you see sodium ion, potassium ion, or ammonium ion as the cation of the salt, or if you see nitrate as the anion of the salt, 
they are going to be soluble no matter what. So basically it means if you see the salt, the front is either sodium, potassium, ammonium, no matter what is at the back, it's going to be soluble no matter what. Or if you see nitrate at the back, no matter what's in front, it's going to be soluble as well. How I remember is I go to the spa and enjoy my chicken nugget sandwich. But then the nugget is perfect. But the chloride and our sandwich is not so perfect. It means the chloride and sulfate are eventually the anion. They are eventually soluble as well. But then there are some of the exceptions. So chloride, all of them, no matter what is in front, they're going to be soluble. But some of the exceptions are going to be the mercury 1 chloride, silver chloride, and lead 2 chloride. It means all chloride are eventually soluble except these three. How are we going to memorize is the new chap. It's the food that we eat every once in a while. So chloride salts are soluble except HG, AG, and PB. Or you can think of children having another party. And next up for sulfate, all sulfate, no matter what is in front, they're going to be soluble. But some of the exception are going to be my barium sulfate, calcium sulfate, as well as lead to sulfate. So how you remember is going to be the Subaru car, you know, the sport car or the vehicle. So this one is the Suba captain. You're going to be the captain of Subaru. Or you can think of like student can be professional. Sometimes student can be very professional. Or you can think of like the sandwich can be packed into containers. So now we have learned all about soluble salts. Let's learn about what is insoluble salt. Insoluble salt is just a salt that cannot dissolve in water at room temperatures. For example, if I have a conical flux, like just now, I fill it up with water, and then if I add in my salt, no matter how I shake it, it just won't dissolve at room temperatures. It will remain as the insoluble particles. There's one salt that we need to learn is called the lead 2 iodide, which is our PBI. Lead 2 iodide is eventually insoluble in room temperatures. But then if we heat it up, it's going to be soluble in water. Once it cool down, it will remain as the precipitate and it will eventually form a yellow precipitate. So it means sometimes when the salt is insoluble, when we heat up or increase the temperatures, it will temporarily soluble. But once it cool down, it will form precipitate again. Just like our lead 2 iodide, it will eventually form a yellow precipitate when it cool down. But not only that, there are a set of rules that we're going to memorize. So for insoluble salt, they say all carbonate salts are insoluble except the spa, sodium, potassium, and ammonium. So how I remember is like this. You can think of like the carbonated drink. Usually they have the gas or the bubbles are on top that won't go away, right? So those bubbles or the gas are what I call as insoluble. So all carbonated drinks are insoluble or all carbonate salts are insoluble except if you go to spa. And not only that one, we're going to learn the compound that contain oxide and hydroxide. They say all oxides are insoluble except calcium oxide. Or you can think of all oxides are insoluble except my only children, OC. And all hydroxide are also insoluble except barium hydroxide and calcium hydroxide. How I remember is going to be our HSBC International Bank. All hydroxide are insoluble except barium and calcium. Or getting off HCB, her chicken burger, means hydroxide insoluble except CA and BA. But eventually, our sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, and ammonium hydroxide are eventually soluble as well. But then they are eventually the alkaline. So now we have learned all of these, let's have a recap. 
So we have learned soluble salt is just a salt that eventually can be dissolved at room temperatures. And the rules are going to be as long as if we see sodium, potassium, ammonium in front or nitrate at the back, they're going to be soluble no matter what. And then we have the chloride. It's also all of them are soluble, but some of the exceptions are going to be our check. See HAP, HG, AG, and PB. As for sulfate, subacaptan, which is our BA, CA, PB. All students can be professional. Children have another party. So for insoluble salt, they are just salt that cannot dissolve in water at room temperatures. So some of the examples are going to be the compound that contains oxide or hydroxide and carbonate salt. So for oxide, all of them are insoluble except my only children, which is our calcium. For hydroxide, it's going to be our her chicken burger or HSBC bank, BACA. For carbonate, all of them are insoluble except our spa, sodium, potassium, and ammonium. And next up, we're going to do some of the practice. And they say practice make perfect and we learn by doing. Pause the video and try by yourself. So just as a side note, we're going to put whatever that we have memorized onto the left hand side. So first, we have the silver nitrate. As we know, whatever end with nitrate is soluble. So for sulfate, there are some of the exception, which is going to be our subacaptan. So BA, CA, PB are exception, which is insoluble. But they are not in the list, so they are soluble. All hydroxide are insoluble except her chicken burger, BACA. So this is the exception, so this is soluble. All oxide are insoluble except my only children, CA. But this is not CA, so this is insoluble. All chloride are soluble except HG, AG, PB, our chap. Or children have another party. So this is a metric exception, so this is insoluble. All hydroxide are insoluble except her chicken burger, BACA. But this is not, so this is insoluble. All sodium are going to be soluble. All potassium are going to be soluble. And for chloride, there are some of the exceptions. And this is eventually the exceptions. So this is insoluble. So for hydroxide, again, all of them are insoluble except our her chicken burger. Chicken burger. So CA and BA are exceptions. So these are soluble. Whatever end with nitrate is soluble or start with potassium is soluble. For chloride, all of them are soluble except these three. But magnesium is not the HAP, so this is good enough. So this is soluble. Whatever start with sodium is soluble. Calcium oxide. So all oxide are insoluble except my only children, which is CA. So this is CA, so this is good enough. Whatever end with nitrate is soluble. For sulfate, all of them are soluble except supercaptain or we can say sandwich can be pack or student can be professional, which is BACAPB. So this is exception, so this is insoluble. Chloride, all of them are soluble except HGAGPB and AG is insoluble. All oxide are insoluble except our only children. This is not the only children, so insoluble. All carbonate are insoluble except spa, but this is not spa, so insoluble. Sulfate, all of them are soluble except BACAPB. This is on the list, so sorry, this is insoluble. Whatever end with nitrate will be soluble. Whatever start with ammonium will be soluble. So for chloride, all of them are soluble except HGAGPB. But this is not, so this is good. So this is going to be soluble. Whatever oxide will be insoluble except my only children, which is calcium. But this is not calcium, so this is insoluble. So hopefully you get everything correct and let me know in the comment. Hey, if you have any questions or would like to see any kind of video, do leave your comments below and let me know. If you want to support us so that we could make more videos like this, the simplest way is just by sharing the video with your friends. Click the like buttons and consider subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.